Right, hello and welcome to my second today's free video. This one's a bit more of revised and basically it's still not scripted, but hey. Uh, we're going to be covering some stuff that I didn't cover in the last video and basically some of the disadvantages that I now know after using it for many times. Let's get started. Right. So, first, let's talk about sort of how easy it is to use. It's very easy to use. You have a basic set of interfaces. Um, you have your timers, alarms, and settings. Um, so in the settings, you've got your do not disturb, your dim screen, your sleep mode, and your device settings, such as rebooting the device, resetting the device, and more. Um, it's basically really simple in the settings. You don't have GPS, though. So, it does mean you can trick it by just doing that with your arm. Um, you can also check downwards to see your other stats, such as your battery percentage, the date and time, if that's not on your clock face, um, your steps, your active minutes, which I have none because I've been wearing a different Fitbit today, um, you know, and your sleep. Um, sometimes it will show your active if hours but mine doesn't i don't know why it just doesn't um so now let's get to the clock faces you can customize your clock faces by going to the fitbit app though this clock face that i have the minions clock face i should not bring it back close to the camera it's a bit slower it won't focus it's not water this might i haven't said it's water focus but um it just won't um we won't let you use this Minions clock face anymore. They removed it, so if you have had those, keep it, it's great. Um, also, the app. Uh, they've changed it recently. I can't show you it here because I'm using my phone for recording. But, um, basically, it's been changed a lot and people don't really like it. It's more like the new Android material UI that's been used since probably on Android 10, 11, but um, basically it's always a bit hard to function trying to find stuff like I tried to make friends with, with someone and it just didn't work. Um, basically I had to continuously navigate forwards and then when we did get to work it did it, it took so long to actually get through so it was a big mess. Uh, let's get to a bit of the, the um, hardware. So, the hardware is usually you'd get a silicone band with it. Any Inspire 2 band works. However, you might notice I'm not wearing the silicone band like I wore in the last video. I'll probably show a clip. Um, that's because it melted. It's real. The silicone is not great in. Um, in heat and it just melts. I put it next to my computer in the sun during heat wave and it just didn't work. But um, now for like the back of the device, it's got three charging pins used for the charger. The charger is pretty good. Uh, it's not magnetic, it's not wireless, but it just snaps on. It's not like the charge 4 where you have to kind of precisely position it. Um, you've also got your heart rate scanner, but that doesn't work. And the reason why it's here, because actually in Inspire 2, just rebranded with different software. So, if you're actually looking for more features, the Inspire 2 is probably around the same price. Nowadays, it's it used to be £10 more expensive. It's not. Um, when I bought this, it, the Inspire 2 was more expensive, but now, if you're trying to get something that has fair features, don't get this. Uh, there's also, on the side, you have your capacitive touch buttons. Uh, capacitive touch isn't great because it doesn't work underwater. You put it under the water and it doesn't work. So this has water locked. You hold your two sides down and it opens up your quick settings. Then you can scroll to water lock and you can basically, um, you can set it so it doesn't respond to touches and it's not great it doesn't do it automatically like the charge 4 does um but 
Yeah. Then you've also got your display, and here's where some of the here's a few disadvantages. So this display isn't as bright as it used to be because it's a PMO LED, a PMO LED, passive matrix it's uh, OLED or organic light emitting diode. Um, display, and this means it's good for battery life. This lasts eight days, which is just crazy, but. Um, it's not great for um, brightness over time. It's great when you first get it, it's really bright. You can see it really well in the sunlight. But um, when you do it later on, it just fades. And Veloso Tech, hopefully I can get him to send me an image and I can display it on the video. Uh, their display is just barely readable. So if you really want some long lasting ones just get something like the modern ones uh, or just the flex 2 if you try and look for simplicity now there's a few kids features as well or uh, that i'd like to see though um unfortunately they haven't released an ace 4 which they should have it's a bit late for an ace 4 they usually release it somewhere after the inspire version is released but the Inspire 3 is already released and we haven't seen an Ace Fork for quite a while. We might get an Ace Fork this year, but nobody knows. Um, the buckle has been a bit of a complaint on a few websites I've looked at for, um, for this uh, watch reviews. And um, there's one, there's a few major kids features which are not here and if you are looking for really good idea to get a different watch such as SOS mode that's great to have on a watch but this doesn't have it unfortunately so if if they have a problem you can't sort it out but yeah that's basically uh, all I'd like to see and all I'd like to say about the uh, Fitbit uh, Ace 3 or Inspire 2 at the same time this is an Ace 3 but and it looks exactly the same as the Inspire 2. But, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! One take! One take! Yes!